Carl? Oh, what's up, kids? Welcome to Ghoul TV! Hosted by Carl! Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Ghoul TV! Yo, what's up? Uh, let me call Carl real quick. I want to see what he's up to. Hello? Okay, Carl, where are you at, man? I'm here at Grow TV. Are you, like, supposed to be, like, starting a cooking show today? Oh, I, I thought you were doing that. <laughs> what? I heard you talking to Jade about it last week. Like, you said that you would cook and, like, you would help out. So I decided to go on vacation. You gotta be kidding me. This is gonna be awful. Oh, man. Well, that attitude it will be. Don't worry, Cooper. You're my cousin, so you'll do great. Anyways, I gotta go. Asha, Luga, goodbye. Well, hello, all my foodie friends. And thank you so much for joining my new cooking show that I have, apparently. That's right, a new cooking show. I was thinking to myself what I should name this cooking show, and I thought, uh, well, my name's Cooper, and I'm cooking, so we're gonna call it Cooking with Cooper. <laughs> now, we didn't create this cooking show for any old reason, no sirree. We actually have like a really big event happening like at the end of the month. It's gonna be like a big party with like all of my favorite people there. And I'm so excited. Now, you guys know my friend Jada, right? <laughs> well, recently she came up to me and Carl and she asked us if we knew how to look. <laughs> And of course I said, yeah, I've got like 20-20 vision, dude. <laughs> but apparently she did not mean look. She meant to ask me if I can cook. <laughs> I misheard her, that's my bad. So my dude Carl and I said yes, and I would help him out, but it looks like Carl isn't showing up. So I'm cooking solo today. And now I only have a few weeks to learn how to cook, so I figured we'd start a cooking show. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be awesome. Or should I say, excellent. <laughs> Get it? Cause like, eggs? <laughs> so, today we will be preparing an absolute wonderful dish that all of us love very much in our lives. And that is, a drum roll please. A cake! <laughs> yes! Today, you may not actually see a cake box instruction thing here because we don't listen to instructions or recipes or anything like that. We listen to the recipe of our hearts, my dudes, okay? All right? So first, you add the right amount of sugar. <laughs> Sick. That seems like enough. <laughs> Maybe a tad bit more, my dude. So the next- Whoa, 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 hold up. Wait a minute. Is my cake talking to me? Um. No. Cake? Are you there? Cooper, this is Jada. Jada, you've been turned into a cake? I'll help you. How do you, how do, how do I help? No, Cooper, it's me, Jada, look. Oh goodness, there you are. Funny story, Jada. I thought you were a cake, <laughs> but you're not. Uh, nope, not today. Anyway, so what are you up to, Cooper? Are you cooking? Oh, excuse me one moment, Jada. Hey, kids, remember, Jada thinks I can cook. <laughs> so let's make sure she doesn't know that I can't because that would be bad news for me, dude. Okay, so let's keep it on the DL, the down low, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, hey, Jada. <laughs> you know me, cooking is like breathing for me. I can't stop. It just comes natural. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. I can't wait for you to cook all that wonderful food at the party at the end of the month. Yup, me too. <laughs> oh, and by the way, did I hear that you don't listen to the recipes that come with the food? Oh yeah, following recipes is a lot like gravity to me. <laughs> I don't believe in it. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? If gravity was a thing, could I do this? <laughs> um, that only happens because of gravity. That's not important. Uh, that's not the point. Cooper, you know why recipes are there, right? To distract you? 
No, they're there to help you. Help you understand everything you need to do in order to make the food the proper way. Sounds like you just made that up, Jada. I can assure you I didn't, but I do actually have something for you. If it's a Komodo dragon, I'm gonna be really upset. Nope, not this time. It's actually a recipe. A recipe? I just told you how I feel about those. I know, but this recipe isn't just any old recipe. This is the super duper recipe for all things good. Um, that sounds amazing. Where is it? Look under your counter. Oh, there it is. What is this for? It's a recipe for how to grow your relationship with God. Now there are four steps in this recipe and each comes with a story. And by the end of the month, we will have learned all four steps of how we can know God and love God more. Okay, that sounds great. The first step says trust. Trust, um, is that a, uh, is that that? Is that, is this a trust? You can't really measure out trust like that, silly. But if we did have a supply of trust, the recipe would say put all of it into God. Well, isn't that kind of obvious, Jada? Well, not always. I mean, even Jesus' disciples had trouble fully trusting him at times. But when I think of people who trusted God, I always think of the story in 1 Kings chapter 17. 1 Kings, 1 Kings, that's like the book with all the kings, right? You know what? It is, but the story from chapter 17 centers around the prophet Elijah. Elijah was told by God that it wouldn't rain for a few years. So that meant food wasn't being cooked all the time like at your place, Cooper. Yeah, like so much food gets cooked at my place. Like it's like crazy. <laughs> well, he was told by God to go to a new town where he would find a woman and that woman would give him food. Really? I thought because there wasn't like any rain, there'd be like, it'd be like hard to find food. <laughs> it was, but Elijah found the woman God had told him about and Elijah asked for a piece of bread. What did the lady say? Well, she had no bread, only a jar with a little flour and a jug with a tiny bit of oil. She was so low on food that she was fully expected that her and her son wouldn't last much longer without getting really sick. Oh, that's awful. Now, why would God send Elijah to the people to get food if they didn't even have enough for themselves? Well, this is where the trust comes in. Elijah told the woman to go home and make enough bread for not only him, but herself and her son as well. He told her that God would not allow the flour or oil to run out. Really? What did the lady do? She trusted Elijah and more importantly, trusted that God was telling the truth. She went back and made the bread. The flour never ran out and the oil never dried up. It was truly a miracle and the lady and her son were so happy they trusted God. Whoa, I can't believe I forgot about this story. That's like incredible. <laughs> I wish I could see a miracle like that happen. Well, Cooper, I think you will. As long as you- Wrestle Komodo dragon, I knew it. <laughs> what? No, all you have to do is follow the first step in the super duper recipe book. Oh yeah, step one, trust God. Is it really that simple? Of course, following and listening to God may not always be easy, but we must remember if we trust in God, we will be taken care of. Hey there, everybody. Our big idea is step one, trust God. So on the count of three, I want all of us to say it out loud. Are you ready? One, two, three. Step one, trust God. Good job, everybody. That is a super important step. So Cooper, how does your cake turn out? Well, this is what I was going for. And this is mine. <laughs> yeah. Ta-da, <laughs> looks pretty appetizing. <laughs> Hope you like eggshells. <laughs> what, what is that? This, <laughs> oh, it's a cake, my dude. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> I mean, if you ask me, I think it turned out pretty good. <laughs> that thing just made a noise? Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV.